What's up guys, what's going on? Camp out coming at you with a review. As you can see, A6 box, it's been a while for one of these. It's been a while for a review period, but I'm gonna try and pop uh, one out a day so you guys can stay in touch. This is one of the shoes that I picked up, or actually the only shoe I picked up from the Packers J. Crew collaboration. Um, I, they, they took off the aesthetic or the look from the Dirty Buck. As you can see, the red midsole, I'm gonna pull them out of the box and we'll get into it. So um, right off the bat, the material is not the best. I will say that just, just, a, a note. Uh, I don't think they were that expensive. I don't know what the price point was on them, so I shouldn't even make that statement. Uh, I got these off of J. Crew. I didn't get them from Packers, and I get them from store. J. Crew had them sitting on the site at like 1 a.m. the night of the release, or the night after the release, actually. So I just, I really like the blue pair, so I went for it. And the material is, um, I wouldn't say the best, and I wouldn't say the worst, but it's definitely not up to par. It feels like a like a higher end GR. Well, it doesn't feel like collab material, but sometimes collab material doesn't feel like collab material. So I guess it's just a shot in the dark. It has a little brush brush suede to it, or a little you can get some brush strokes in the suede, but it's very rough. I don't know if you guys you can probably hear it if I get it close enough. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a very loud brush because it's not the softest. I can probably brush these up and get them a little bit softer. I'm um, not mad about that, but let's get into the detail of the shoe. So you got a navy suede upper across the entire thing. Basically, the entire shoe is navy, except for the hits that aren't. So you got um, two reflective hits in the eyes towards the toe cap here. That's on both shoes. I'll show you that real quick. Those are reflective. And then the midsole is obviously red for the dirty buck. You got this tan color in the gap between the midsole and the body of the shoe. You can probably see this little tan paint in here as well. Uh, a little quality defect in there, but I mean, I guess it is what it is when you're making four pairs of shoes. Upper portion towards the split tongue, you got a Packers hit embossed into a small piece of uh, like a nude leather and then a very beige leather base on the split tongue and that nude leather again on the inside of the shoe which makes it pretty comfortable these are a size 11 uh just a heads up um i get i guess the width and my age i, I still have a little bit of room i could have did a 10 and a half but i just went with the 11 because it's really what they had left on the site and they fit good i'm not mad at the sizing whatsoever so you can go tts or you can go the 0.5 up but you should know that already with gel light threes um there's a lot of wiggle room if you like your split tongue to stay open and go with the smaller size it's fine if you want to go a little bit closed look with closed laces whatever you like it's your preference but if you if you're worried about the sizing, I went with a 10 and a half on my 11 many of times, not a big deal. These are 11 on my 11. It more or less feels the same. So I, I can't really give you a definitive answer on sizing, but it, it's within your size range. So you can go half or TTS and you're pretty much good. I wouldn't go down though. That's the only thing I wouldn't do. Back portion, heel window. You got another hit of that new leather Asics branding on the upper portion, another hit of the new towards the Achilles area, rolling to the middle side, everything mirrored from the lateral side, except for this hang tag. You got that beige leather again, beige laces on the inside of the shoe. I think there's some branding on it. No, just silver tips on the aglet. Just a heads up, see if you guys can see that. And uh, it's pretty clean. Let me see what's branded on the other one. I think Packers is branded on both. That's kind of rude. Uh, so Packers is branded on both split tongues. There's no J. Crew branding on these, maybe on the footbed. Oh, okay, yeah, there it goes. So you got Packers and J. Crew branded on the footbed, which is also a, let's see, leather? Yeah, leather with J. Crew, Asics, and Packers in there. Hope you guys can see that. And then that's pretty much it. I will do an on foot, so I hope you guys like the review. Go to the outsole real quick, which is solid red, but I figured I'd show it to you anyway. And the extra laces are a wax rope lace and a flat navy lace, both in navy actually, but the aglet on the flat has a silver hit just like the beige that are in them already. I can't see using the navy for the simple fact that you wanna get a little contrast going with the rest of the shoe. It might actually, I don't know, maybe with the contrast of the split tongue underneath with the beige, let me recenter this so you guys can see it. Maybe the contrast with the beige on the split tongue wouldn't be so bad. Um, I don't know, I'm probably just gonna keep the beige in there though. I don't think I'll even throw rope laces in there cause I don't know, I feel like I can wear these out as well uh, with a dressier look as opposed to like a dress shoe. You can wear like a navy sneaker and nobody even notice. Um, I mean, they're gonna notice it's a sneaker but it depends on how you dress it up. But other than that, Pretty clean, pretty simplistic. I would have taken the gray pair as well. Uh, I might actually still try and find them somewhere if it's for retail or close enough to it, by like five or 10 bucks, I'm not paying way over retail for these. And uh, yeah, a lot of people like the, what was it? Oh Jesus, the burgundy pair and the white leather. I'm just not a big fan of how it creases. That's the only reason why I don't really mess with heavy leather uh, made sneakers or anything in the toe box area with leather on it, just cause the crease just looks horrible after a while. Unless you were, you're really breaking it in and don't care about beating the crap out of your shoe. But I digress. Anyway, that's the review. If you liked it, shoot a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, hit me in the comment section. And as always, I'm out of here. Peace.